kita awak tengok perbezaan antara 96 dengan min dekat sini. Okey, bagi coefficient of and then seterusnya lah 40 tolak 104 tolak x bar 128 tolak x bar and then sama penting of course it's going to be 0. Okay, so what you, uh, next what you have to do is you just multiply. You multiply each and every value here and then take the summation of x minus x bar multiplied by y minus y bar because you need this value to put in your correlation coefficient formula. Okay, so it's going to be quite tough if you have more than 10 data. Okay, if you have 50 data, it's going to be messy. Okay, so you need the help of your Excel in order for you to find what is correlation coefficient, okay, for your data. Okay, so in this case, for the uh, copious example, okay, you have uh, uh, the book found that the correlation coefficient is 0 0.865. Okay, jadi soalan kat sini, siapa nak jawab? Okay, macam mana relationship ni awak rasa kalau 8, 6, 5, okay, is it a strong relationship or a weak one? Okay, anyone? Strong. Strong, okay. Strong. Yes, it is a strong relationship. Okay. Jadi kalau awak dapat 80 markah ke atas tu, it is considered as strong. Okay. Because sometimes um, um, awak tengok jugalah data awak ni, data jenis apa. Kalau data tu memang jadi susah nak ada relationship, kalau 865 tu dah kira very strong. Okay. And uh, usually uh, the uh, rule of thumb ni biasanya kita tengok either 70 or 75 percent above okay it is considered as a strong relationship okay jadi kalau 75 ke atas tu dah dapat macam dapat A lah kan okay so it is a strong relationship strong very strong if it is um I don't know about 90 90 above will be considered as very strong but sometimes it depends on uh, the type of data that you have with you okay Okay, um, what else? Okay, this is scatter plot on profit versus age. Okay, untuk auto group. Okay, jadi rasa ni ini adalah macam uh, uh, umur orang beli kereta kalau tak silap saya lah. Okay, jadi you can check on this. So, um, okay, yeah, it is. So, there is, um, okay, there is a positive relationship. Nampak kan macam ada... Uh, you can create a positive line here. Mm -hmm. Okay. But however, sometimes, uh, kita tengok lah. Okay, you can, you can check. But however, if you look at the uh, strength of the relationship, okay, it is only, okay, this is done with Excel. Uh, it is only 0 0.262. Nampak tak ni? A very weak relationship. Okay. So it says that the relationship between the two variables is weak. Okay, so uh, what you can do is, okay, I'd like you to get uh, some exercise on this. Jadi macam mana? Awak okay tak dengan benda ni? Okay, it is very easy to understand for correlation sebab dia macam benda ni awak dah belajar dulu sebenarnya secara tak langsung. Okay, uh, um, you try number six. Okay, right now. Boleh? Number six and also number five. Yeah, six and five. Boleh? Cuba dekat Excel right now. Dan kita continue dekat uh, WhatsApp. Can you do that? All right, All right. Okay. okay. Try number five and six. Okay, buat dalam Excel. Kalau tak reti buat, nanti saya hantar satu link. 
untuk awak tengok. Alright? Okay. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. Okay, I'll see you um, uh, in our WhatsApp group. Okay, bye-bye. Assalamualaikum.